Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review this really pretty curly unit from My First Wig, and I'm also going to show you how to get a flawless install when you have low edges. I'm using the Ebon Adhesive Spray for my install because it removes with water and is gentle on my edges and I like to take my wigs off at night. And a little got to be glue to tack down the ear tabs. Once the first coat dries, I apply a second coat for a stronger hold. When I install my units, I start at the forehead because if the forehead is too low, it looks like a helmet and that's not cute. Then I install the side where my part is and I install the other side last. Now I have really low edges, so I'm gonna install this side right behind my hairline. Plus I think that looks more natural anyway. And I'm gonna show you how I camouflage the lace a little bit later in the video. Now I'm gonna go in with my ebon edge control to swoop the hair over the lace and blend it with my natural edges so it looks super natural and flawless. And then I just use a little equal styling gel to set the hair in place. And finally, I'm using dark brown eyeshadow to camouflage any lace that might be peeking through. All right guys, so this is the finished look and this color is stunning. Let me just say that right off the bat. Now I wanted a 24 inch, but 20 inches is the longest that my first wig offers. So this is how far down it comes on me in the front. So right above boob length. And this is how far it comes down on me in the back. So I guess the 20 is okay. It's long enough, I like it. 
I guess I don't need a 30 inch wig, right? 30 inch wig with the long eyelashes. Where my eyelashes at? <laughs> now I always get my units customize when I place my order. So this one I got deep pre-plucked and deep bleaching on the knots. And that's so the knot grids aren't as visible along the part. Uh, it is gonna cost you extra, so it's an additional 20 bucks for the deep plucking and an additional 20 bucks for the deep bleaching. If you're new to this wig game and you don't know how to customize your units, or if you're like me and you just don't have time to do it, then it's, a, it's definitely worth the investment and you will not be disappointed, I promise you. I get it every time I buy a unit from my first wig and I'm never disappointed. Um, I normally get the medium brown lace, but this one, the lace is transparent, which is super nice because it makes it really easy to melt. And if you can see that, the lace is barely detectable. It is blending flawlessly with my skin tone. Um, so I love when I can get a transparent lace on a unit. For some reason, this cap size one is a little bit smaller than it normally is. And uh, so I had a hard time pulling the unit down uh, to lay it. Now that's not a huge deal because I have low edges. So I always install my units behind my hairline anyway, but I just wanted to point that out in case you like to install the units over your edges, you might have a hard time doing that with this particular unit. Um, the color, the color is stunning. The color is just amazing. This is always one of my favorite uh, color combinations. So this beautiful caramel brown and the, let me get them out, and the chocolate brown low lights at the base. It adds so much dimension to the unit. And in the back, uh, when your hair, when the wind blows your hair, you can see the chocolate brown kind of peeking through. So I think that is so pretty. And I like that the roots are dark as well. So great job on the color, my first wig. I am here for this, all right? So I normally go for the curlier units, but this time I wanted a looser curl, so I went with a deep wave, because there's just something sexy and flirty about a deep wave, and this one is not disappointing. I, I really love the way the curls look, especially with this color. Just a really pretty, sexy unit. Next time, I think I'm gonna try the loose wave. I've never tried one of those before, uh, but I wanna see what those look like too. Now, I've been wearing this unit for about a week now and it wears really well guys there's no shedding uh, it doesn't tangle and let me tell you I only buy human hair wigs from my first wig and that's uh, because number one they do an excellent job on the customization and their units are just really high quality but also because there is no smell to the unit so I have a couple headband wigs from Love Me Hair, and uh, one of them is a kinky straight. I love it, one of my favorite headband wigs. But when the mugs get wet, don't get caught out in the rain, because they smell like dog, you guys. And to me, it just implies low quality overall. So even though my first wig is at a higher price point, it is well worth the investment. But definitely let me know which wig companies are your favorite and your go-to because I would like to branch out to reviewing other units instead of just my first wig, all right? So let me know in the comments. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful if you are considering my first wig or this unit in particular. I'm gonna leave all of the specs below so you can check it out. And I also hope you hit that subscribe button, guys, because I am trying to get my channel over the 10K mark. And right now I'm hovering right above 9,000. And I just need a little more mm, to get me over the hump. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the crew. All right? All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.